Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a warning sign. So the first thing I need to do is to insert a graphic. So let's go up to the Insert tab, go along to Shapes, click on the drop down, and select this square. Go over to your document, and then hover your cursor in the top left corner, click and drag. Once you've done that, we're going to ensure that this is perfectly aligned on the page. So make sure it's selected. Ensure you're on shape format. Go over to the align tool here. Click on the drop down, select align to center, and then click on the drop down again and select align to middle. And that will ensure it's perfectly centered. Now we need to access the customization menu. So you can either double click on your shape or select your shape, ensure you're on shape format and go along to format pane. Over here you'll find a customization menu, make sure you're on the bucket icon, go down to the fill menu, click on the drop down, select no fill, go down to line, make sure you're on solid line, go down to colour, click on the drop down, select red and go down to the width here and we're going to change this to 10 points and press enter. Okay and there we have our red outline. Next we'll go up to insert again, click on shapes again and once again select the square. Go back up to the top left corner, click and drag out a rectangle to the top of your page. Once again we'll access the customization menu over here and this time we'll go to solid fill, go to color, click on the drop down, select red and then we'll go to the line menu and select no line. Click off and you'll find that we've got the beginnings of our warning sign. These can all be adjusted, so if you did want to adjust this rectangle at the top, we can just adjust this up and down. So let's just move that up a little bit. And now we're going to insert our text at the top here. So go up to insert again and go along to text box. Click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then once again, click and drag. Now all text boxes as a default will come with a white background and a black border. Both of those we'll get rid of, but first we'll just insert our text. So I'm going to type in the word warning. I'm going to select it by pressing Command or Control A on my keyboard. Then I'm going to go up to the Home tab. And I'm going to make some adjustments to the text. First of all, I'm going to change the font and I'm going to choose Arial Narrow for this one. And then I'm going to use the increase font size button here and click on it until I'm happy with the size of my text. You can make small adjustments by inserting your figure in here, but for now I'm just going to use this icon. So I'm happy with my text so far, just make this bold by selecting the bold icon. As you can see it's dropped off the edge, you can't see it anymore, so I'm just going to move this over. Perfect. Now to ensure that this text box is in the middle of my page, I want to ensure it's selected, go to shape format, go along to align and select align to center. Before I click away from this text box, I want to take the background off and the border. So once it's selected again and I'm on the shape format tab, I'll go along to the outline icon and select no outline go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. Now I can either keep my text black if I want to or I can change it to white. So I'll change it to white for the demonstration. Double click inside my text box, command or control A to highlight my text. Go to the home tab and go along to this icon here which is font color. Click on the drop down, you've got a number of options to select from, but I'm just going to select white. The next thing I'm going to do is insert our graphics here. 
Now, depending on what you want to do will depend on how you access some kind of figure or icon to go in the middle. So first of all, if you go to insert, go along to icons, you've got a huge number of icons to select in these menus. So if you type what you want at the top and see whether it's available. So I've typed in diving and I'm going to select this one and click insert. Now you can select from lots of different other icons and once I've finished showing you how to format this icon, I'll show you how to access other icons that are free online. So once you've clicked OK for your icon, often it will disappear behind your text or your graphics. Before you click away from it, make sure you're on graphics format, go along to convert to shape, click on the outer edge again if you can't see shape format, click on shape format, go along to wrap text and go down to in front of text and then your icon will appear. The reason we change it to a shape is because you can now change the colour of this icon if you wanted to. So on the shape format tool at the top here, if I clicked shape fill and chose blue, you can see that my icon has changed to blue. I'll change that back for now. Now I want to increase the size of this, so I just click on the corner, hold my shift key down to maintain the ratio, and just click and drag, and then move it to the center. You don't have to worry about alignment at the moment because we're going to join it together with our circle and line. But if you want to access something different than diving and it isn't on your icons, if you go online and you go to this website here called Pixabay, there is also another website called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S, and they provide lots of free images and vectors that you can select from. So if I put diving into this one, and then I clicked on this drop down and went down to vectors or illustrations, it doesn't matter, whatever your choice is, and you can see there are lots of different options to choose from here as well. So if you go onto these two websites there should be something there for you that will help. Now you just go on select one for example and then you just click the free download. And when you click the free download it's downloaded to computer Then all you need to do is just go to insert, picture, picture from file and then you'll just need to go to your downloads, select your file and click insert. Okay, so now let's insert the circle. So we go back to insert, go to shapes and select the circle. The circle will be down here in basic shapes. I'm going to hold my shift key down while I click and drag to ensure it maintains a perfect circle shape. And once again, back over to the customization menu here, make sure you're on format shape. And then we're going to select no fill from the fill menu. And then down to solid line, we're going to select red again for the color. And then we're going to select 25 points for the width of the outer circle. Then what we need to do is to select both the circle and the diver. So if you're struggling to click on the diver, we need to move this circle backwards. It sounds a bit strange, but Word does work a little bit like Photoshop in terms of its layers. So whatever graphics you put on first is at the bottom, and then we put the next one on, so that's the next layer. Then we did a text box, that's the next layer. Then the diver, that's the next. So it works a little bit in layers. So we need to send this to the back. So click on your shape. Make sure you're on shape format. Go to send backwards, click on the drop down and select send backwards. Then click on your diver and you can see now you can select your diver. Sometimes it does need to take a little bit of playing around depending on what order you've put everything in. But by sending things backwards and forwards you'll soon sort the problem out. So then select the circle as well. Then we're going to align them. So go up to the alignment tool select align to center and then down again select align to middle and now that's perfectly centered now once you've got these two selected we can make them into a group so they move around together so go up to group and select group 
and now this will move around as one entity. Now we're going to put the line across, make it into a group and then align it all. So we're going to go to insert, shapes, and click on the line, click and drag across your circle. Once it's selected, go back over to the customization menu, make sure you're on solid line. Go down to the colors again and select red and then down to the points and select 25 points and press enter. And there you can see your perfect line across the middle. Now I want to make this man a little bit big in the middle because he's a little bit small. So all I'm going to do is select the outer circle and ungroup it. Go up to group and ungroup. I'm going to click away from it, click back on the man and then just click and drag holding down my shift key and just move him into the middle. Okay, once you're happy with the size of it, then go ahead and hold down your command or control key, click on the outer circle, let's just align those two. So align to center, align to middle, perfect. While that's selected, hold the command or control key down, select the line, and then go up to group, and then select group. And now all of this moves around together. Perfect. Now we're just going to put the no diving text at the bottom. So what we could do actually is just borrow this text box where now we've formatted it. So all we're going to do is to hold down the Alt key, click and drag it. Now you can see it here and it disappears here because of the text, but don't worry, just drop it down, double click, Command or Control A to highlight the text, go to the Home tab, and just quickly change the color of that font to black. And now we can type no diving. I've just pressed the return key so it has vanished off the page. Let's extend this text box by dragging it up. Click back inside this, the text box, Command or Control A to highlight the text, up to the Home tab, and go to Center Text. And that will center this text into the middle of that text box. And then we can just adjust it. And if the text doesn't fit, we can reduce the size of it using the decrease font size tool. Let's take it down to 100 and see if that fits. Let's just move this text box down. And then we can just move this up. OK. Perfect. So to ensure this is in the middle, select it, go to Shape Format, Long to Align, Align to Center, and then just to check that this graphic here is in the center, do exactly the same. Highlight the graphic, onto Shape Format, over to Align, and Align to Center. If this is a little bit too big and you can't quite fit the writing in because this is quite close here, just select it, select the Shift key, and just squeeze that up a little bit, a little bit smaller, go across to the align tool again, align to center. You can just use your arrow key to move it up or down and the same with the diving sign. If you use the arrow key then it hasn't nudged it off center. So now you can go ahead and just print that out. I hope it's helped you. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.